it puts him into this state of fear where it's like fight or flight. There's avoidance. They'll they'll freeze. You know, it's like a deer in the headlights kind of thing. They don't know what to do. Well, if you're if the person is in that state, you can't be like, okay, you're in this state of fear and all this other stuff. What we need you to do is now turn around and look at the a darkness that seems so deep and big and wide that there's no getting out of it. And what's so awesome is that there's so many of us out there that have gone right into that darkness and tooled around in it and we camped for a few nights and we went up and down the mountain and into the valleys and we went all around that darkness and we came out and you're like, ah, bitch, you ain't got nothing. There's people that just are not gonna do that. There's people that are not ready to do that. There's people that would just scares them to death. So you can't force that. That's a personal journey that they have to take. And as much as you want to, as much as you want to scream and shout and get angry, I've been there, I was there the last two days, just so you guys know. You can't do it. You can't force it. For years, people tried to force Christianity on me. I grew up in Wisconsin, right? So that's the fucking Bible Belt. Everybody and their brother is, you know, not, I'm exaggerating here, but lots and lots of Christians, right? Especially up north where we are right now, there's lots of Christians up here, up north. And for years, people tried to force that on me. And I was like, get fucked. No way. That thing is stupid. Are you retarded? I've, I've read parts of the Bible. It doesn't make any sense. And now I'm in the complete opposite camp. Now I'm like, oh my Lord. But you know why I actually went there is because I made the journey. I did it. Meaning that no one was going to drag me to be like, oh, you got to believe in a creator, a creator. Let me drag you by the hand. And, you know, no, that is a personal journey that you must make and they must make. You can't make that journey for them. There's nothing you can write, nothing you can say, nothing you can put in front of them. The only thing you can do and the only thing you must do. And I'm, I'm repeating what Jennifer said is that the best thing you can do is have love, compassion, and patience. This isn't going to last forever. Do you know why? Because once again, as we all know, they are not in control. These people that are running the quote unquote running the show right now are not, never have been, and never will be in control. And if you even give them one ounce of being like, well, maybe they are, that shows the most egregious lack of faith in our creator that you could possibly make. The people that love and genuinely love God and genuinely have a spiritual center will go to our deaths. You know why? Because we know that our deaths, it's not really our death. It's the whole point of this thing. It's, you know, seeking immortality. Now what you, what your journey is, what you have to do, I'm pointing fingers at you. What you have to do is always live in logos, always live in truth, always live in the way, the truth and the life. That's what you have to do. And it's going to be hard. Marty Leeds is here to tell you it's going to be a very, very difficult road. But guess what? Guess what, everybody? We're all in the same boat because if you go take the jibbity jab and pray at the altar of Jebo and you pray to the prick, the the pharmaceutical religio industrial complex, I think is what I call it. The pharmaceutical religio industrial complex or the prick for short. If you pray to the prick, it's going to be a hard road for you. And if you don't pray to the prick, guess what? It's going to be a hard road for you. So the question is, knowing that both roads are going to be difficult, which road are you going to walk? Are you going to walk the Christly, righteous, virtuous, loving, caring, compassionate, understanding road? Or are you going to walk arm in arm with Satan and his minions? Stand the fuck up, everyone. Amen. Um. <laughs>